Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 2018 Ferris State University Women's Soccer National Signing Day Press Conference. I'm Rob Bentley, Assistant Athletic Director for Communications here at Ferris State. Before we begin, we'd like to thank those fans tuning in statewide, online, and around the world on the Bulldog Sports Network at ferrisstatebulldogs.com. Shortly, we'll hear first from Head Coach Andy McCaslin, who will make an opening statement on this year's recruiting class. And following that, we'll break down each member of this year's class with comments from Coach McCaslin. Following the press conference, fans can find biographical information along with photos and an on-demand replay of this event and more at ferrostatebulldogs.com. This time, I'd like to welcome the head coach of Ferris State University Women's Soccer, Andy McCaslin, who will make a few opening remarks on this year's recruiting class. Thank you, Rob. Um, this, this is always an exciting day. The, the signing day is here. Um, you know, we've, we've been working hard with the group that we have on campus in the, in the winter so far. Um, and this group that we're about to announce is, is going to mix in so well with that group. Um, the group that we have on campus is like a family right now. And the, the way that these nine young women uh, are going to add in, it's going to be tremendous. They are uh, they're a phenomenal group. They've got the, the right mentality. They're talented. They're hardworking. Um, and they're the right type of kids for that family type environment. Um, we we always look to add the best players that we can, but we also want to make sure that we add the right kids, the the right family type kids, um, from a personal side. And, and we really think that we've done this with these nine. Um, they'll come in right away. They're gonna they're gonna add into the competitive environment that we have. Um, they're gonna again mix in very well with that outstanding group of young women that are here on campus right now. Um, and most importantly, these, these kids are they're tremendous people. They come from great families. They're excited about continuing their career here, and, and we're excited to have them with us. So a tremendous praise to Coach Stacy and the tireless job that she did in helping secure this class. Um, and we're just excited to get them officially with us and, and on to the next thing. Thank you, Coach McCaslin. We'll begin now by breaking down this year's class in alphabetical order. We'll start first. Our first signee is a 5'8 defender from Hazlitt High School, Lily Campbell, uh, who played soccer at Hazlitt High School in the Capital Area Activities Conference. She posted two goals and four assists in 2017, leading her team to an 11-3-4 overall record. Uh, she led her team to conference championships twice thus far in her high school career. Is a two-time all-league selection, a Lansing State Journal Dream Team honoree, and also claimed the team's Rising Star Award is a four-year letter winner. Lily, uh, it, we're excited to have Lily with us. Um, she, we're keeping those Lansing area connections strong. Um, Lily is extremely athletic. She's composed on the ball. Um, she makes really good decisions going forward and, and connecting out of the back. Um, she's versatile too. She can play as, as a center back or an outside back. Um, and we're, we like her ability to tackle. We like her ability to add herself in uh, going forward. Um, she's, she's a smart player, and again, we're, we're happy that she's with us. Next up, we have Darby Dean, a 5'5 defender from Lowell, who posted five goals and 12 assists for the Red Arrows as a junior in 2017, leading her squad to a 14-6 overall record. She helped her team do a district finals appearance in both 2016 and 2017, is a multi-year team captain, a two-time All-State honoree, and has been chosen as her team MVP each of the past two years. Uh, Darby is she comes from a great family again um, very athletic family in Lowell um, father's a football coach brothers played football and wrestled and um, Darby actually also uh, was a holder for the the football team as well so um, they've had some pretty cool family history there with with some games and and some fun uh, some family times on on the on the football field but we're excited that the Darby's with us. Um, she's played at a very high level for Midwest United down in, in the Grand Rapids area. Um, played on their development academy team this past fall. Um, smart player, able to win tackles 1v1. Um, she organizes the back. She's she's very clear and consistent in how she organizes. Um, and she, she connects when we need her to, or she just clears pressure when we need her to. So, um, 
you know, I, I say we, we've, we've, I've had her as a, as a player at the ODP level as well. So we, we go back a long way, but i um, excited that Darby's with us. Um, she's going to come in and compete right away and, and do a really good job. Next up, we have a 5-6 forward from Rochester High School, Gabby Gilmore, who set school records for most goals in 2015 and 2016, led her team to a district championship in 2016, has been a three-time team MVP award honoree, also earned all-conference and all-state recognition throughout her prep career, and is a four-year varsity letter winner. Uh, yeah, again, excited that Gabby's with us. She's um, very versatile. She can play maybe as a, an attacking mid, but as you heard, she scores lots of goals too. Um, she's strong. She moves well off the ball. She She's able to link well going forward with um, either from the midfield um, going into the attack or as that target player receiving the ball um, and then either turning a defender or um, adding other players in. Um, you know, she, she looks – she looks to score from distance. She looks to, to frame things. She's um, She loves to score goals, and we're excited to add those goals to our, to our roster. Next up from Wall, New Jersey, is a 5'7 midfielder, Jenna Carabin, uh, who is a standout for Wall High School. Finished her junior year with 30 goals and 13 assists in the Shore Conference. Led her team to a 24-1-2 overall record. Set a school record for most goals in a season with 30. Helped her team earn a number one state ranking for the first time in program history, along with a number two national ranking by Max Preps, and also led her team to a first state championship and back-to-back -back crowns. Yeah, Jenna is a really fun kid. Um, she's, she's got family in the area, and they were a tremendous help in, in the recruiting process. And helping Jenna figure out about Ferris um, from New Jersey. So um, we hats off to them, so thank you. Um, Jenna's a competitor. She She's a great teammate. She wants to win, though. Um, she It was, you know, it was great to get to know her in that recruiting process because she does want to win. She does want to compete. Um, she'll she'll do about anything she has to, to to make that happen. She's a midfielder by nature, but um, when her high school team needed her this past fall to to go score some goals, she turned into a forward and went and scored 30. So um, for her to do that, it, it says a lot about her and her talents and her abilities. Um, you know. She led Wall to a state championship, and we, we were watching from the highlights from a distance, and it was really fun to watch that team kind of you know, group together and, and figure that out and watch that state run. So it was it was really cool to, to get to know Jenna, um, to have her on campus, and she fell in love with this place, and it's easy to. Ferris is a great place to, to fall in love with, but she's dynamic. She's got great composure on the ball. Um, she can play over distance. Uh, she can play quick. She can play tight. Um, but again, she has that ability to, if she is playing in the midfield, to get forward and score some goals. Or if we need her to play up top, she can do that as well. And again, score some goals. Our next signee is a 5-5 defender from Lance Cruz North High School, Ellie Laporte. Uh, who competed in the Macomb Area Conference, led her team to a 16-3-1 overall record as a junior, was an All-State selection, also named to the All-District team, the All-Macomb County uh, squad, and was chosen as her team's Defensive Player of the Year, also a Coach's Award pick, and an Academic All-Excellence recipient who has served as a team captain. Uh, Ellie's she's a great kid, too. Um, comes from a great family. She's very talented. Um, she's really good in 1v1 defending moments. Um, she's able to add herself into the attack from the back. And that's one thing we asked her to work on uh, through these last couple months is to add herself in, getting forward and, and being more of a part of the attack. So she's really been working on that and done a really good job uh, of adding that part to her game. Um, she, she loves to be coached. She, you know, she comes from the, the Burn Club and Christian Grazik does a great job there. Um, but she wants to be coached, and, and we're happy she decided to be with us because we think that she has a really high ceiling, and she'll she'll do a really good job. Um, she'll she'll listen. She'll apply those things, and um, yeah, she, you know, Ellie Ellie does a really good job, and uh, yeah, we're we're pumped to have her with us. Next up, we have a five four forward from Portage Central High School, Emily Mergener, uh, who 
Notch, six goals and eight assists in 2017, led her team to a 14-3 and two overall record a year ago, along with back-to-back -back conference championships in both 2016 and 2017. Her squad twice has won district titles. She has served as a team captain named to the all district and all conference squads during her career. Uh, Emily's a, a Ferris legacy. Both parents went to Ferris. Um, as when I met her father for the first time, they mentioned that they're Ferris people. So it's great to have Emily with us and, and that alumni connection as well. Um, she loves to score goals. She gets into good spots. Um, she's dangerous in front of the goals. She finds little gaps and seams that she can sneak into and um, either slot balls away. She likes to shoot from distance. She likes to link up as much as she can with, with her teammates, whether it's getting to, to the end line and putting that ball back across or, or whatever it may be. She's, she's versatile that way. And um, she's got good pace. She, she's able to beat players on the dribble. And, um, you know, she's going to come in and compete right away. Next up, we have a 5'6 goalkeeper from Strongsville, Ohio, Nora Potter, who competed in the Greater Cleveland Con Conference, had nine shutouts in net in 2017 with a 1.43 goals against average, has ranked among the top five players in school history for fewest goals allowed in a career, listed in the top four overall in career shutouts uh, at Strongsville High School, earned team MVP honors, led their team to three consecutive conference and district championships, and helped her squad win a regional crown in 2017. Yeah, Nora's um, got a very strong background uh, as a goalkeeper. She'll, she'll add in nicely to her, our core goalkeepers. Um, we've, that's one of the things that Stacy wants to make sure that we always have as strong goalkeepers, and adding Nora in will, will help keep that to form. Um, she's explosive. She's got great hands, great distribution with her feet, with her hands. Um, she plays well off her line. Um, you know, she's a great teammate. She has a tremendous attitude. Um, comes from, again, a great family. It, it seems like that's a broken record, but everybody's unbelievable that way. And um, her, her parents are, are great people. Um, and she's going to do really well as a Bulldog. Next up from Niles North High School in Illinois, a 5'7 forward, Adina Terabam, uh, who ranked as her team's leading scorer with 20 goals and 10 assists in 2017, posted eight goals and five assists in 2016, has been a four-year varsity starter, a team captain, claimed team MVP honors in 2017, and was the team's top goal scorer. She has also been a three-time all-conference selection. Uh, Adina, again, great family. Uh, we've seen her play a lot, and Stacy and I laugh all the time because every time we've seen her play, she has scored at least one goal. Um, again, those are always those kids that have a knack for goal are, are hard to find, and we've got a couple of them in this class. And Adina's one. Um, she's going to do very well. She's going to. She's strong on the ball. She strikes it well. She connects well with her teammates. Um, you know, she, she's versatile, too. She can play the 10, that attacking center mid, or she could play wide on the wing. Um, as a winger, she'll be able to link up with those midfield players. She'll be able to get forward. Um, she can strike the ball from distance and score some goals from there. She'll frame things. Um, but, yeah, she, she's going to do great. She's going to score a lot of goals, and we're happy to have her with us. And last but certainly not least, a 5'8 forward from Otsego, Grace Verhege, uh, who netted 26 goals and 12 assists in leading her team to an 11, three and two overall record in 2017. She's on track to break school records for most goals by a men's or women's player in school history, has been an all-state honoree, a three-time all-conference choice, a four-year varsity letter winner, also claimed all county honors and twice has been named to the all-district squad. Yeah, Grace, was, she kind of popped up to us late in the process, um, but we're again, very glad that she's with us. Um, she's got great attitude. She's got a great mentality. Um, when we first saw her play, the first thing we noticed was she's got really good size. Um, she's got good pace. She, she strikes the ball well. Um, she'll get on the end of crosses and, and you know, be able to be a, a, a part of an attacking, uh, excuse me, part of an aerial attack. Um, does a really good job. Um, and again, we're, we're happy that she's with us. Um, she's an exceptionally hard worker, um, and she's, again, going to do really well for us here as a Bulldog. 